सो टी क्यूब अलाउज एक्सपोनेंशियली एक्सपांडिंग ट्रेनिंग ऑफ एनी कोर्स सो बिफोर मूविंग मूविंग अहेड वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ टी क्यूब मॉडल सो एफ डी पीज द फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम्स आर एट द कोर ऑफ टी क्यूब एंड कंटेन टू कंपोनेंट्स वन इज ऑनलाइन कंपोनेंट एंड अ फेस टू फेस कंपोनेंट सो ऑनलाइन कंपोनेंट इज होस्टेड ऑन आई आई टी बॉम्बे एक्स एज अ लर्निंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एंड विच इज बेस्ड ऑन ओपन एड एक्स प्लेटफॉर्म द फेस टू फेस कंपोनेंट इंक्लूड्स फेस टू फेस इंटरेक्शंस विद कोर्स फैकल्टी uh and uh which of course enhances the effectiveness of the mooc component hosted online uh so uh, in addition to managing the face to face component the tq website also interacts with iit bombay x to perform data migrations and to improve the overall course delivery uh it has been a great experience working for such a noble cause and it is important to acknowledge the contributions uh, made by all the people related to this project uh, we thank uh, iit bombay uh, for giving us this opportunity uh, and uh, of course um, uh, the various teams the workshop team and the uh, iit bombay x team for uh, helping us throughout our initiative so uh, we'll uh, start with the we'll uh, we'll start with the presentation uh, harsh and anand will uh take you through the registration module hello good morning one and all i am anand from nitk suratkal and he is harsh from dict and uh, we are we were in charge of registration module for the tq website and so the, basically we have implemented the registration for website as well as the workshops which is same as the model of the anime existing anime cit website the only different things are we have implemented clickable cards for workshops and ticketing based systems for workshop registration now he'll introduce the website registration uh, hello everyone here this is our home page where all the workshops are shown as we can see the uh, if the user is not logged in you can see all the workshop details but if the user wants to register for any of the workshop he has to register on our website so this is our main register registration page all the details are the same from the anime ict website we have just changed the ui and uh, introduced the stepper it's okay ha huh. these are the this is our form with all the validations now if the user wants to work, register for any workshop he has to log in so so this is the dashboard for the user where we can see the upcoming events for which he can register the previous events which had occurred and the uh, events for which he had he had registered if he has registered for any now now uh, the uh, the basic page is the the edit profile page which will be the same as the our uh, registration page and he can edit if he wants to now i'll hand over to anna we have implemented clickable cards on uh, the home page of the user he can click on more details to see the details of the workshop and then this is the new thing that this is same as the msit only the new thing we have implemented is ticketing system as in all the pilot workshop is displayed and all the instances will be displayed he can register for any yeah. what is ticketing system ticketing system as in previous workshop previously all instances would be displayed on the first page itself and then if the participant registers for one instance he wouldn't be allowed to register for other instances we just put it here and based on date he can choose whichever instance he wants and then so what is the unique credential of the things because you will not allow him to register again so how you will detect when he uh, how exactly he is the same person no participant id is stored okay the register user cannot register again yeah, you are he saying he cannot register okay. for the same option okay. the reason they are calling it a ticketing system is i gave them the model of uh, a cinema multiplex okay so this is dr fatak show which is finished okay the other shows for the same because this is repeating the same workshop multiple times so with different teachers okay they they can have a book my show kind of thing they have a book my show kind of thing okay. actually okay okay they have book my show kind of thing not only for the registered participant okay but they have got a system by which the theaters can also book i will host this show 
ओके बिकॉज वी आर गॉट सो मेनी रिमोट सेंटर्स ओके ओके सो दे कैन चूज कि आई विल होस्ट जुलाई वन एंड आई विल नॉट होस्ट जुलाई फिफ्टीन ओके सो रिमोट सेंटर्स विल ऑल्सो होस्ट डिसाइड टू होस्ट दिस इवेंट एट फ्यूचर डेट्स एंड देन द पार्टिसिपेंट विल नो वेन ई क्लिक्स ऑन दिस विच रिमोट सेंटर्स are hosting it on that particular day but i have got a very simple question ki now in a web based scenario do we require the concept of remote center because remote center was a concept in the uh, ideology of the satellite so yeah. if we are going to the web platform everything is available to everybody why you want a remote center anybody can do from its home or on the fly also no the, the, the i i answer that i'll answer that question because that's uh, that's not uh, i am also against let, remote i am also let them answer no no i am <laughs> I am also against remote centers. Remote centers are required only for what they call as the face-to-face -face component. Okay, if I am doing face-to-face, -face, I have to meet somewhere. Otherwise, I cannot be face-to-face. -face. Okay, now I do not believe in face-to-face, -face, but it seems that lot of people believe. The government certification agency, which we are dealing with so far, had insisted that you cannot give the certificate unless because earlier it was all face-to-face. so it was a uh, two week certificate so they said two week face to face so we had the earlier system by which the lectures were delivered in the morning okay in the remote center and this so after that we went to a system by which we will give all the lectures through videos and the face to face was reduced to one week okay again we need a remote centers okay now the new thing that is coming in is this repetition of courses okay for which again we have delivered face to face but the new certifying agency is no longer interested in face to face or they are pushing for no face to face okay okay so we had an option to build a system without face to face without remote centers so what we have done is if there is no face to face component the remote centers get off immediately okay okay so if the system is flexible enough to decide when you go to all the this thing that there is no face to face so the ticket will be generated on the fly The ticket number is generated on the fly. No, the admin will be in charge. No, but number will be generated yeah, by the machine. So can you tell the how exactly number is generated? How many bits of number is there? What part defined what? Which course summer, autumn? Uh, which course code? Whether the number has got any data or it is just a random number, unique number? No, it is. It is just just an ID. ID. Just an ID. Okay. Okay. There's Continue. Database, database. And then uh, next thing is the registration form, in which the details are loaded. He has to upload the permission letter. and select whichever okay all the remote center which are there in madhya pradesh are displayed here you can choose any and then submit the form this is the basic admin page uh, for the admin users and the page which we implemented is the invite users page This page is the same as NM NMICT one. This is for the purpose that if uh, the admin has to send a private workshop registration link, then the he has to upload an XLS file where all the data uh, template is provided here, in which format they have to upload. Email ID is valid, then a mail will be sent to them. The private for when uh, private workshop link will be sent for the sent to them. Now, if they click on the link, the workshop page will open directly. They, they, there is no need for them to. Uh, Uh, go to the dashboard select the workshop and then register a link will be directly sent to them and if the user does not exist in matlab he has not registered to a website he is shown the register page and then he is redirected to the workshop page so uh, this was the another feature which which was there and for payment for the workshop we also implemented iit bombay a payment portal in our uh, website okay thank you now we hand over to the anish and ayushi for fdp Thank <laughs> you.